Most of the tips you hear about optimizing your Google business profile are just the same recycled stuff over and over and over again. Add photos, post updates, ask for reviews. That's all basic. And if you're not in the top three on Google Maps, you're losing 80% of the clicks, period. But if you actually wanna rank in 2025, you need to go beyond the basics. And that's exactly what I'm showing you here today. Hi, I'm Matt from Hey Tony, and I've been helping local businesses dominate Google for years. And I've got seven untapped hacks that most experts never talk about. Things that make Google see your profile as more relevant and more trusted and more clickable. But before I do that, I put together a local SEO checklist that covers everything, and I mean everything you need to rank locally. The link's in the description, it's completely free, and it'll save you months of trial and error. Here's what most business owners don't understand. People aren't Googling your website. They're typing in plumber near me, or dentist Hamilton, or whatever your service is, plus their city. Your Google business profile decides if they call you or your competitor. It's as simple as that. I see businesses spending thousands on Facebook ads while their Google business profile looks like it was set up in 2015 and never touched. That's backwards. Your website matters for building trust, but your Google business profile is step one in the entire funnel. If you're not showing up there, game over. Hack number one. Geotargeted photos boost local relevance. First up, and this is huge, most people upload random photos with zero context. Google has no idea where these photos were taken or what they actually show. So here's what you need to do. When you're taking photos for your business, make sure the location services are turned on on your phone. This embeds geodata into every image and tells Google exactly where you took that photo. You can upload before and after shots from actual job sites team photos at work locations, and pictures of your storefront with geodata intact. This tells Google that you're actually active in the areas you claim to serve, not just listing them down on paper. Every month, add three to five new photos with location data. Google sees this activity and starts connecting your business with those specific geographic areas. Now, speaking of expanding your reach geographically, let's get into hack number two. By default, Google sets your service area to just your main business city. But if you actually serve surrounding towns, and I mean actually serve them, you're leaving money on the table. Go into your Google business profile and hit edit profile. Scroll down to the service areas and add every city, town, or suburb where you realistically and actually do work. But don't go crazy. If you add 20 plus cities, Google knows you're being spammy and will probably penalize you. Stick to a realistic 30 minute drive radius or where you actually serve customers. You can be really specific too. Don't just add the main city, add neighborhoods and suburbs like Burlington and Aldershot and Millcroft. Google treats these as separate search opportunities. This one change can double your impressions overnight because you're suddenly showing up for way more local searches. And once you're showing up for more local searches, you need to make sure that you're converting those views. Which brings us to hack number three. This hack is massive and almost everybody ignores it. In your Google business profile, there's a product section where you can add items with photos, descriptions, and pricing. But most service businesses think that this is only for retail stores selling physical products. That's wrong. You can use it for your services. Emergency drain cleaning starting at $99. Kitchen renovation, free consultation. Dental cleaning, book online. For each product, add a high quality photo with a description packed with your target keywords and include pricing if you're comfortable with transparency, which you should absolutely be comfortable with that. You don't think your competitors know how much you charge. Here's why this works. These products often get featured in a special carousel that appears right on your Google business profile. And it's like having a mini advertisement inside your profile that Google shows off to potential customers. Plus, each product listing is another opportunity to include your target keyword and service descriptions. But getting people on your profile is only half the battle. You also need to convert them. Which brings us to our next hack. This hack is all about conversion, not just visibility. When someone searches and sees message the business right on your profile and you respond within five minutes instead of five hours, you're going to get that lead over your slow competitors. Set up templated quick replies in the app, Yes, we serve that area, what's your address? Or we can schedule you this week, what day works best? Also turn on request a quote if it's available for your business type. That adds another call to action directly on your profile. The goal is to give people multiple ways to contact you, then be faster than everyone else at responding. Speed wins in local service businesses. Now getting found and converting visitors is great, but you also need to build authority, which brings us to our next hack. Build local authority with citations beyond directories. Everyone does the basic directories, Yelp, Yellow Pages, whatever. That's table stakes at this point. What actually moves the needle is getting mentioned on local Chamber of Commerce websites, sponsoring local community events, 
being featured in local blogs or news outlets. So join your local chamber of commerce, sponsor a little league team, donate to local charities, participate in community events, and get quoted in the local news. Even mentions without direct links help Google connect your brand to that specific location. Google is looking for signals that you're actually embedded in your local community, not just claiming to serve it. The more Google sees your business name associated with your city across different websites, the stronger your local authority becomes. And while you're building that authority, you should also be staying visible with regular updates, which brings us to our next hack. So this hack is really simple. Your Google business profile has a post feature that most businesses completely ignore or just use terribly. So here's how to use it right. Post weekly with keyword rich headlines like emergency plumbing in Hamilton available 24 seven or free roof inspections this month only. Include a photo, add a strong call to action, mention special offers or seasonal services, and write like you're creating a small advertisement. And another tip here, geotag those images. That'll help you show up higher on the map. So one of the things that people also don't know is that these posts can actually show up in Google search results separately from your main profile. So you're getting extra visibility and extra opportunity to rank for your target keywords. And post consistently, do the same day every week. Google rewards businesses that stay active and current. So here's the strategy that ties everything together. This is the last hack, the one that almost nobody does, but everyone absolutely should. Right now, go search your main service keyword. Click on the top three competitors' Google business profiles, and I want you to audit everything. What categories are they using? What services do they list? How many photos do they have? What attributes are turned on? How do they respond to reviews? What questions are answered in their FAQ section? Take notes on everything and then do it better. They have 50 reviews, work on getting 75. They list five services, try listing six with better service descriptions. They have 20 photos, try 25 or 30. Set a calendar reminder to check them every single month. And when they add something new, all you need to do is add a better version as quickly as you can. This isn't just about copying. It's about understanding what Google is rewarding and then exceeding that standard, but not too much. So those are seven untapped hacks that you can implement today. Not next week, you can start today. Let me know which one do you think is the best and which one will you be tackling first? And if you want to dominate local search completely, grab my local SEO checklist in the description. I've used this exact checklist to help hundreds of businesses go from invisible to booking out their calendars. It's free, comprehensive, and again, the link's in the description. And if you want to see more videos like this in your feed, hit subscribe and give this video a like. Thanks for watching. Bye.